Hello, people of the internet. It's your boy, Kyle Lucas. That's my bunny. And today, I'm going to be showing you my chest and also answering some questions about my top surgery because I did get a different one than normal people get. I got liposuction due to how small my chest was. And um, yeah, I have some questions that people asked on Instagram on my phone. And I'm gonna go through the questions first. If you are new here, I make LGBT videos like this. I make random videos, vlogs. There is anything for anyone, so go hit subscribe, like the video, and let's get started. Also, if you're new here, I am about three weeks post-op now from top surgery, so. First question is, how does it work or how is it different than other types of top surgery? So what they do for liposuction is they, I'm pretty sure they take like a needle or something and they like just pull the fat out. Like, I don't, like, you'll see my chest, but I only have like, um, a, like a dot here, a dot here, and two more dots. And that's all the scarring there is really, because I didn't have a big chest, I had less than an A cup. It's always been that way for me. So there is no point in getting double incision or getting keyhole, because my chest was just so small. Liposuction worked fine. Um, the healing process is still the same. I had to wear the, well I am wearing the this thing, the vest, and I was in a lot of pain and stuff. You can see that in my vlog. Check out my channel. <laughs> Did it hurt as soon as you woke up or a bit later? Also, how would you describe your pain? So, I woke up and I was on like the drugs and shit. And then when I got in the car, I realized how much pain I was in. And for like the first two days, I was in a lot of pain. Like I would describe it as the worst pain of my entire life. I'm not over exaggerating. It was legitimately the worst pain of my entire life. But then after two days, I was up and going, which, you know, some people are, some people aren't, but now I'm fine. I can do anything. I'm not supposed to work out, so I don't. But I mean, I could, but I won't. You know, like, I'm, in, I'm fine now. But in the first few days were torture, but worth it. Um, someone said, is it kind of like keyhole surgery or completely different? It's completely different. They don't do anything to my nipples. How old do you have to be to get surgery? I'm pretty sure you can be any age as long as your parents let you. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't think you should get it unless like you're like old enough. Like I'm 16 personally, but I think anywhere under like 15, you shouldn't be getting that type of surgery, but it's really up to your parents. Maybe it's up to your state. I don't know. I know here it doesn't really matter, but. I don't know your state. I don't know the rules. Um, someone said, when can we see? You're gonna see in this video, and it's also on my Instagram. Um, how much pain are you in? I'm in no pain right now, but my chest is now. And how did lipo work? I explained that. Shit, why am I rereading? <laughs> um, what's the healing process like? Like I said, I had to wear this vest, and I'm still wearing it. Um, like for the first week I had these giant things protecting my chest, um, like styrofoam type things. No, they're like cushions and it was really annoying. But now I just have to wear this for like another week. As I said, I'm on the third week and then I'll be done with it. Um, and yeah, my chest just feels really numb. It doesn't really hurt anymore. Things are all pretty good with the healing and stuff, except for my allergic reaction, which we will get to when I show my chest. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I have an allergic reaction. How long was the whole process? I think they, it was like an hour or so, or an hour and a half that I was like under. If that's what you meant, I'm not sure. Um, can you pick what size nips you want? No, because like I said, they just go in in four places. They don't do anything to your nipples. But like I said, I had a small chest, so. Who was your surgeon? How much did it cost? My surgeon was, I forgot his first name. I'm gonna look it up. And how much did it cost? Mine was $3,400, $500, not including cost to get there and all that shit. And it was about almost 4,000. We're just gonna say 4,000. I'm gonna figure out my doctor's first name. His name is um, Dr. Kenneth Wolf. That's the doctor who did my surgery, and I'm really happy with the results other than my allergic reaction, which we're gonna get to now.
So here is my chest as of right now. I'm gonna explain this side. Um, I'm allergic to medical tape and I did not know that and they put medical tape on this side so there was an allergic reaction but it's actually looking a lot better than it did when we first took this thing off. It actually was like blood red. Oh look at my tummy rolls. <laughs> um, it was like a red red. And yeah, it's gone down so much. I'm very happy with like this side and this side will look just like it. It'll even out and stuff because right now it's like um, bruised or whatever. I don't know where I'm looking for is from the infection and stuff. But yeah, I'm allergic to medical tape. That's fun. And um, yeah, the incisions, as you can see, are really small. There's one here, there's one there. There's one here and there's one there. And that's all. And then it's gonna heal up and look like this side. This side's still a little um, bruised, so it'll get a little flatter. But yeah, like I said, this one's just bruised still. All that sw swelling, all the swelling will go down eventually, but it's mostly like that because of the infection. And then it will look like this side. And I'm very happy with the results right now, other than the infection. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's about my top surgery. And yeah, um, subscribe. I love you all. Have a good day, good night. Happy Mother's Day, it's Mother's Day. This probably isn't going up until after Mother's Day, but it's Mother's Day right now. Go love your moms, even if it's not Mother's Day anymore.